Welcome, welcome back. So happy to see you in person. So happy to see you. You know what I found out back there? It's my sixth time here. Yeah, is that... Isn't that amazing? Does I, it feel like six times? It feels I don't like know. I just, I, I, I we just, have fun every time. Every time. Thank you. I yeah. love being here. I love watching it, and uh, I, I have a lot of love for all of you. Oh, uh, yeah. I love having you here. I'm a lot like, of love. I didn't get a chance to tell you happy birthday, uh, happy 27th birthday, right? Hey, and uh, that's yeah. Know. This is a big deal. Yeah. But yeah, here's what I think is very funny. You, you celebrated your 21st birthday. I did. Now, why did it take you so long <laughs> to celebrate your 21st? When I, I turned 21 when I was shooting in Vancouver, and the legal drinking age there is 18, so when I went around being like, it's my 21st, people were like, okay. And then the next year... <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, fine. Whatever. Yeah. They thought, you know, I thought maybe I'd celebrate it the next year, and the next year, and it never happened. And finally, this year, post-booster, of course, I celebrated my 21st birthday six years later. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I, why not? I know. And I, I did it up. I went to Vegas, and it was like the most Vegasy birthday ever. Me and my friends, we flew on this cool aeroplane. We took a party bus to the Vegas sign. We, this Tiesto sang me happy birthday. I gambled. Look at you and Tiesto. I mean, uh, I love Tiesto. We He's saw, my best friend now. We saw Tiesto when we first started late night. We took all the riders. We went to a trip to Atlantic City and saw Tiesto, and it was amazing. And then I think his, his, his booth turned into a robot. And had lasers and started coming into the audience. People no. were freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure that really happened? Or... No, we were just doing. Or... Yeah, no, what did you do? I know. Oh, no, 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 sure. I don't know. If uh, I don't want to talk about that either. You did but... do a lot of gambling. Uh, yeah. And so I wanted to show this, not to show off or anything, but this is your cash out ticket. Yeah. In Las Vegas, not too shabby. Look at this right here. Twenty-four cents. Uh, wow. Yeah. What were you playing and what were you losing? Slots. And yeah. I was losing it all. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> just have fun. Why not? You even. Uh, this is. I love this. You even had birthday hats uh, made. It says Zoe's twenty uh, seventh slash twenty first yeah. birthday. Yeah. I love those hats. You're, you're only twenty one twice. So. <laughs> you can do it every year. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, uh, you, you know, uh, every time you come on, we've played games. We've done bits together. I love bits. Yes. You always do. I live for bits. Yes. We. That's why we, we love having you on the show. <laughs> but you brought me a game this time. I brought you a which, bit. Which no one ever brings me a game. I know. It's exciting. I thought it wasn't fair. So. I grew up, my father and my grandmother always used a lot of Yiddish words and phrases. It was a part of the family lexicon, and I feel like you probably know some Yiddish words, and sure. you guys probably know some Yiddish words, like oy vey. Do you know oy vey? Of course, yeah. Do you know klutz? Yes. Spiel? Yeah. Okay, great. So you know a little bit. This is good. Right? Yeah. We're starting off well. I picked some a little bit more advanced Yiddish words. I'm going to say the word, give you two definitions, and you're going to guess which one it is. All right, I'm very competitive. I love this. The first one is... Mishpucha. Oh, I know this. A, an unforeseen mishap. Or B, family. Mishpucha. Mishpucha. So, uh, what are the two? Uh, uh, one is an unforeseen thing. Or one is family. family. I think it's. I think it's family. You're my mishpucha. It's correct. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know more Yiddish. I felt like it was family. Yeah, the whole mishpucha. Let's bring the Let's whole, bring the whole mishpucha, mishpucha to Vegas. This is fantastic. I love yeah. Yiddish. All right, good. The second one. You're going to be fluent in no time, I guys. know. Look at what we're learning. Uh, two. Shana Punam. A. A dish containing potatoes. Or B. A pretty face. Punam is, is face, I want to say. You are crushing this. This is unbelievable. And I did not... Yeah. What is it, Shana Punam? Shana Punam. Oh, what is Shana Punam? Yeah. Wow. Hey. I did put him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are real good. This is awesome. I did not plan okay. this out. This is exciting for me. <laughs> I love this. All right. The last one. <laughs> All three of these words mean the same thing. Shmagegi. <laughs> I love Shmigegi. I know, Shmigegi. Just say it. Everyone just say it with me. Shmigegi. Shmigegi. All right, aren't you having fun? Shmigegi. Yes. It's actually great. Shmigegi. Shmigegi. Shmigegi, Shmendrick, and Shmo. <laughs> Shmendrick. Yeah, Shmendrick. Um, a, these are all words for a silly or stupid person, or B, these are all affectionate terms for a baby. That's got to be the first one, right? Oh, my God. Look at me. Oh, my God. Am I... Respect, right? Yeah, you Respect are. Respect right there? Come on. Yeah. Dude, that's, right? Not bad? 
I did not do. We did not plan on it. I love I it. Schmigegi. No Schmigegi. That's the best word I, <laughs> I ever love heard. I love Schmigegi. Uh, Schmigegi. I mean, that's you guys are gonna be using that every day now. Uh, now we are. We're always gonna say <laughs> Schmigegi when, yeah, um, uh, when we come out. Uh, I want to talk about your movie. That's why you're here. Uh, this is like uh, the outfit. Yeah. Uh, by the way, every time you come on, I, uh, well, you have different movies and you have great accents in in the movie, yes. and and this is another one that you can add to your repertoire. What? What, what is this like a Chicago? Yeah, it's like a it's like a 1950s Chicago accent, and uh, I was so I really wanted this movie. It was such a cool script, and Mark Rylance, who's one of the greatest <gasps> actors of all time, I was really nervous to work with him. And uh, I was shooting in London. I knew I had to prepare properly, so I went to go see a dialect coach. Get the accent great. I came to the first day of rehearsal, and everybody, excluding Mark, who's playing an Englishman, everybody had this distinct Chicago accent. I had a completely different accent. I, <laughs> I showed up with like a really bizarre mid-Atlantic accent. I started talking like this, darling. Like the entire movie, I'm just talking like this. And Mark Rylance is looking at me like, what is this American doing? <laughs> what is going on? I like, like darling, I'm, what yeah. Darling, darling, it's so great to see you, darling. Oh, like, just, nice. It looked like I was a really bad imitation of an old movie, um, and uh, that was mortifying. But eventually, I, I got it. I, I went to the director. I was like, "Don't say anything. I got it. Tomorrow, they'll be. It'll be Chicago, and the Mid Atlantic will be in the trash." It was. Uh, yeah. But which ones? What, what? 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 What different accents can you do right now? Can we just rattle just, some off? Oh, uh, rattle some. Give me. Um, give me. Have, give me. Well, uh, I feel like honestly, like the first one that comes to mind is the accent I did in Zombieland, because like I, it's like. In Inspired by the valley, and I'm literally from the valley. Yeah, wow, that's perfect. Yeah. And like, you know, you're so good at accents, and Minnesotan is so much fun. Minnesotan, don't you know, is such a funny accent oh, to do. Minnesota, yeah. 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 I love Minnesota, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. I'm just yeah. gonna keep copying you now. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah. Why not? Uh, well, well now, now I'm gonna, gonna do, do a southern, southern person. person. That's exactly yeah, right. That's exactly and right. And welcome to the show. And you're just welcome to the show now. I love southern, but you know what I have to say? Well, I think my favorite accent of all is an accent that comes from a town not so far from here, Jimmy. Where is that now? Long Island. <laughs> You love the Long Island? Yeah, my grandmother, my grandmother, the one who taught us all that Yiddish earlier that you were so good at, she's from Long Island. Oh, my God. She's from Long Island. She talks like this. It's amazing. You and if she to... were here, she would tell you, you got a Shana Punham. <laughs> she would. Oh, I love you. I love her. You got it. That's the next move. You got to do that. <laughs> Who's going to hire me to do that uh, accent? You have to be that. I sound like next... I smoke a pack a day, no, but I've never had a cigarette in my life. perfect. You're going <laughs> to rock that. Trust me, you're going to take that and rock that in a movie. <laughs> Uh, can we tell everyone what the outfit is about? Yes, the outfit is about an expert tailor who has to outwit a bunch of very dangerous gangsters in order to survive a night. The movie takes place on in one night on one set with six actors. It's really cool. It feels like a play. And uh, you're constantly trying to tell who is telling the truth. Yeah, and it's you, Mark Rylands. Come on, I want to see this. Fun. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Zoe Deutsch in the outfit. Take a look. I do not need you telling me who to date. I didn't mean it like that. You meant it like, I saw you smiling at Richie Boyle earlier, and now I'm petrified that you're running with a bad batch. Those men may be customers, but they are not gentlemen. Could have fooled me in those nice clothes you make for them. If we only allowed angels to be customers, soon we'd have no customers at all. Do we let all of our customers keep black boxes in back? It was you who was smiling at him. I've spent my entire life around animals like Richie Boyle. You want to get them to back off, you look them dead in the eyes and you pretend you're one of them. You don't need me worrying after you. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Zoe Deutsch, everybody, the outfit is in theaters March 18th. Hey, hey.